So our next speaker comes from one of the other Mayo campuses in uh, Jacksonville, so Mayo Clinic Jacksonville. She is Dr. Brumble, Dr. Lisa Brumble, who is an infectious disease physician. Dr. Brumble did her medical school at East Carolina University School of Medicine, and then did her infectious disease fellowship at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. She is now, as I mentioned before, on our faculty in the southern states in Florida with a specialty particularly in transplant infectious disease as well as also non-tuberculous mycobacterium. And Dr. Brumble is going to present a few other interesting cases for us today since I think NTMs are so unique in every single situation it helps to just hear a bunch of different cases. Her fun fact is she enjoys traveling, which is good because that brought her to Hawaii, and she also enjoys bird watching, which would be very fun here in Hawaii as well. So with that, we'll introduce Dr. Brumble to the stage. Well, again, I do want to thank the organizers for inviting me. I'm having a wonderful time in Hawaii, and I really want to thank all of you for coming to this conference. This has been a fantastic conference, and I'm really enjoying listening to all the talks that are being presented. So I hope everyone's gaining a lot from this. Well, as you saw on one of the previous slides presented by Dr. Wenjanak, Florida has a lot of non-tuberculous mycobacteria. So we see these infections quite frequently uh, in our patient population. And I want to thank one of my colleagues, Dr. Claudia Libertine, who's in the audience for this particular case. This is one of her uh, patients. No, sorry, this isn't her patient, this is my patient. I've got two cases I'm presenting. I'm presenting my patient first. So I saw a 54-year-old woman who routinely gives herself vitamin B12 injections in her left thigh. She gave herself her injection on May the 8th, and on May the 10th, she goes swimming in the ocean. Well, about six to seven weeks later, she develops a circumscribed, red, hard, slightly raised lesion on the left anterior thigh at the site of her previous B12 injection, and the lesion was sore and hot to the touch. I'm sorry, I don't have that picture because she was not in our practice at that time. So she saw a local dermatologist, this is the west coast of Florida, and he performs a punch biopsy, gives her doxycycline and a Medrol dose pack for a week. The lesion increases in size despite therapy and began draining fluid that was multiple colors. She described it as yellow, orange, and white. And then on 9-5-2013, the biopsy of the skin lesion re 